Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In today's video, I'm going to be showing off the build I've been running. Um, and just a quick side note, this will be the last build video in this kind of live com format. I am currently working on a magic, uh, like a pure magic playthrough um, or build that is more structured and is like got a voiceover. Uh, I've just been having a bit of an issue with my new microphone uh, and recording that in li uh, in post and stuff. So, hence the video like this kind of uh, coming out before then. I might do an updated video for this, which is a bit more structured. But for now, I'm just going to do one last video like this and hopefully get all that audio BS fixed. Anyway, so this build is a dexterity faith build now yes i know my stats are ridiculously over overdone you really only need to get like say vigor up to like 40 mind 25 endurance i'd probably get that around 30 35 strength um also you don't need it as high you really only need what is it yeah 20 strength to use the jellyfish shield uh so i need to tune that down a little bit um dexterity you can put at 60 because it is your main stat i have it at 80 um because that is like the the hard cap or whatever um intelligence i don't have any points put into neither do i in arcane um faith i would also put up to 40 or 20 uh 25 about or 27 so you can use the god slayer sale i should say um as well as obviously this sword but yeah, so getting to, to the, the meat and potatoes of this, um, uh, the main weapon is the Guardian Sword Spear, which is stupidly overpowered. Uh, if you put the keen weapon art, or excuse me, the keen uh, wet blade on it, uh, the weapon art I have on here, the Ash of War is Thunderbolt, so you can just kind of, from a distance, do stupid amounts of damage, um, and it catches people off guard in PvP as well. Uh, this is the main weapon. I have it keen, so it scales with our dex, which is really high. As you can see, even at plus 19, not even maxed out, it is doing insane amounts of damage at 658. Uh, and that is not with the buffs I'm going to go over. Uh, I'm using the Sacred Relic Sword purely for AoE and taking out large groups of enemies. So like right here. Literally just do this twice, um, unless you have it fully upgrade and then you just have to do it once but it will literally just wipe out everyone here um and if you have more fp and you don't get hit by that you can just kind of absolutely destroy groups of enemies it's kind of nuts that is kind of an optional thing i just kind of do that for those aoe things this works fine for aoe um uh but in terms of the spells i am using I'm using, what is it called, uh, Flame Grant, Grant Me Strength, which is just a flat buff, same with Golden Vow, Blessing of the Earth Tree I use just for harder boss fights, uh, and then I have Electrify Armaments, uh, Dragon Bolt, Blood Flame as well, um, for different types of this, Blood Flame Blade is more fire and bleed, so if I need something that's weak to fire or to bleed, it's really good for that, um, obviously Lightning is good for or electrify armament or this dragon bolt is super good for anything that's weak against lightning or just general play because it buffs your weapon like crazy uh, i'm also using just you know a couple other you know uh just you know buffs or if i'm getting inflicted with scarlet rod or poison it's good just to have a you know a uh cleanse on me which is nice or something that boosts uh defense um but the main thing for this build is kind of the interaction between these three items and the uh, wondrous physic we have. So if you're not really planning on using anything other than the lightning, I would just do lightning shrouding correct tier mixed with uh, the one that gives you that bubble. Uh, so you can take that one free hit. Uh, though I have this one just in case I use blood flame because it buffs th that damage. Um, so what you can do here, so this is a plus 19 weapon it does yeah 658 um no buffs so this is what happens if i do the full buff rotation which you can do before any boss so let's say i'm just gonna buff it up with lightning do that then this because that's a 20 percent buff 
plus that, which is more lightning damage. That takes that from, what was it, 658 to 1,355 damage, which is actually bonkers. Uh, the only thing is you can't use the ranged um, version of, or you can't use the lightning bolt spell on your sword spear here. Um, just because if you put the shield away on your back, it will go blue and you'll the uh, buff will no longer be there from the shield. Uh, which really doesn't m matter. You don't really need this, especially if you're going to be fighting a boss. Um, though once it runs out anyway, it's really easy to reapply. And I mean, so like if you need to use something long range, it really doesn't matter. But this is just such an overpowered build. Um, the talismans I'm using is Dragon Crest, Great Shield, Talisman, which uh, just boosts your physical damage negation uh, because I'm using the Lightning Scorpion Charm, which raises your lightning attack. So once again, builds uh, into all the lightning damage we're doing. Uh, I'm using the Green Turtle Talisman because especially if you're not doing the super overpowered version of this build like I'm doing, you'll have some, I think Endurance is probably the one you'll have the lowest for a while. Um... I also um, recommend the Source Seal, especially uh, earlier on. Um, but, like, I don't really need this. Like, later on, you can always do really whatever that would help. If you want to do more incantations, this is good. Uh, faster uh, spell casting time is good. Um, skills, once again, pretty good. Uh, so, it's really up to you. It's pretty flexible, but it, this build is absolutely crazy for just about everything in the game be that you know boss bosses aoe single target you know like out in the overworld um pvp is a lot of fun with this build just because you have so much at your disposal um but yeah uh armor i'm just using fashion it's nothing specific though you could always you know change it up for something that increases faith or lightning damage or negation or whatever um so yeah that's really the build just kind of a short video showing off this build um once again this is the last time this is going to be kind of you know more live commie and kind of just messy uh because i will once i figure out that issue i'm having with my microphone uh on you know the post recording it's very strange it's the only program where it's not showing up like through the because i got like a audio interface or whatever it's the only place that isn't showing that, so I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, next build, next video for Elden Ring will be that uh, build video that's a bit more structured. And like I said, it's a full moon sorcery build, big sorcery uh, type thing. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please try out the build because it is absolutely nuts. Remember to like, sub, and hit the bell notification thingy. Uh, cause yeah, I'm getting back into the whole video thing again. It took a small little break, uh, just because, you know, it can get stressful sometimes, but we're back to it. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.